What do you spend your time doing on the internet? You know it has a wide array of benefits. In the upcoming weeks, we'll be looking at some of these as well as how you can be a part of them. If you've ever used Google Maps to navigate your way to a place, you might have wondered how it has been possible for Google Maps to learn all these routes, places and so on. In today's video, we'll talk about the Google Local Guide program, which has allowed individuals to contribute to Google Maps over the years to make it what it is today. I happen to be a local guide myself, but for today's discussion, I have someone with me here who has done it for a longer time and has more information to share. I will allow her to introduce herself and then tell us more about the local guide program. Hey, it's me, Kafu Yevu, a photographer by night, um, a content creator by day, and a program director at Impact Abakra, and also a level 8 local guide, slowly getting closer to level 9. The challenge is on. <laughs> Okay, Kafu, so uh, first of all, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you for honoring my invitation and coming over to you know, um, have this discussion about Google Local Guide. So first of all, you've been doing Local Guide for some time now than myself. So I want you to tell us a bit about the Local Guide program, if you can tell us something about Local Guide. Okay, um, so Local Guide, for me, this is how it started. I, You know how I am part of the Google. Yeah. I'm so really integrated in the Google community. So we started with the Google Maps, Maps Maker. I was okay. one of the editors. Oh, okay. And then we moved to doing Map Maker events with the likes of Estelle Akofi Osowa and, and some other ladies. At AITI, we moved from there, going to schools, just trying to spread the like, okay. advocacy for okay. maps. Okay. Okay. And that program died off. Oh. It died off and some of us lost interest. And then they switched it to another points-based, like a gamified okay. uh, application. Okay. And I also signed up for it. So for me, I'm always an early adopter of this kind of things. <laughs> That is very important. Yeah. So, being an early adopter, I got the points, but I kind of slacked off. And I got rejuvenated to start again when I got a, a notification from one of their, one of their um, Google ads okay. saying that, hey, this local guides program is cool. They have done it. It's, it's been re, oh. um, revamped. Okay. So, I joined and it looked really interesting because yeah. there I was. I can add places which I already used yeah. to do. Oh and take photos okay. which is one of the interesting things about being a local guide for me is taking the photos okay so wow so based on what you are saying yeah. it means that there were early programs around local guides like that wasn't it wasn't even called local, local guide guides. it was oh, okay. google maps maker okay but it yeah. was all about um google maps oh, it was all about google maps and then yeah. they now adopted uh, or they changed it to local guides to local guides in my opinion, I think it's a way of getting the whole world to contribute, like crowd so sourcing more, information. Okay. Yes. So it's more about contributing to Google Maps. To contribute, yeah, contributing wow. to Google Maps. So, so the places we go to, the directions we see mm -hmm. with Google, uh, with yeah. um, Uber, Bolt, and the rest, wow. is as a result of wow. us local <laughs> guys. <laughs> wow. this, is, this is big. This is, this is very big. So yeah. it means like you're part of those people who started adding places to. Wow. That's very cool. So, like, for how long have you been doing? I, as far as, if my memory serves me correctly, in the early 2012, yes, our first event was at AITI. Okay. Supported by um, the then Dorothy Gordon, the then director of AITI, Dorothy Gordon, Google Ghana. We did all this training for people okay. on how to use Google uh, the maps. So what, what, are, what have been or what are some of the benefits you have personally enjoyed being a local guide? Okay, so the benefit, the direct benefit is having to easily find places. Coming okay. here, um, yeah. jackpot bar and restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. I had to use Google Maps. Oh, yes, wow. and it led me, we got to the Dankwa Circle and I was like, driver, do you know the place? He said, nope. Okay, you hold on. Do you know what the Uber drivers use? <laughs> I'm going to use that. It's called Google Maps, yeah. and then wow. I got then I got navigated to this place. Wow! wow. So that's one of the main benefits, benefits. of yeah. Yeah. of local guides. Yeah. It doesn't matter whether you're a contributor or not. And then the other benefit is the feeling of doing something bigger than you. Mm -hmm. I've always loved to do stuff that's crowdsourced based. Yeah. yeah. Because of uh, crowdsourcing, mm -hmm. 
the concept of crowdsourcing has become something I used to, to get to get content from people, to get people to volunteer for our GDG programs, oh. for things like Impact Hub and yeah. Kasahoro and the rest. Okay. So those are the two key takeaways. Okay. The bonus for me was when I was able to get invited to travel to San Francisco. Oh, wow. Yes. That one, it's what year, what year, what year was that? 2017. Wow, two years ago. So it means you're actually part of the people who went to some yes, school. yes. The wow, the top 150. Okay, yes. oh wow, it means oh, out, all over the world. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry how to get there somewhere. Don't worry, next year, next year, we should, we should try again. Yeah. We should try our luck to yeah. go. Yeah. yeah, so are there any rules that that um, if you want to join local guys, are there any rules that you are supposed to know being a part uh, of it? Okay. The rule from okay, the rule from the program perspective is you should have a Gmail account. That's okay. the basic entry requirement. Okay. So meaning that once you have a Gmail account, okay. it means you are um, computer one one. You've passed that like okay. basic yeah. use of the internet. Yeah. You've yeah. passed that. You yeah. can use it on your mobile or your yeah. on your desktop. Okay. So that's the that's the the minimum entry requirement. Okay. Okay. The rest is having a sound mind, happy to contribute, mm -hmm. like some of us. No, not being bothered, being looked at as weird. Mm. The weirdo who is always taking photos, asking random yeah. questions yeah. at a restaurant and other places. Okay. Oh, so do you have, how many do you have? A, why don't you have an accessibility friendly mm -hmm. uh, facility? Yeah. Why don't you have this? Why don't you have that? That's, those are some of the questions I ask because I love to answer questions on the Google Maps a lot. Oh. So in order to provide the right information, I need to make sure the people who work there or the owners give me the right information because it goes back to the public. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's, that's, that's true. Wow. So it means that, um, so basically with local guide, we are looking at contributing to the map by adding places. Yes. By adding roads. Adding places, editing, okay. street names, reviews, photos, reviews, photo, videos. videos. Okay. You can even categorize your favorite places. It's like a mini blog okay. of things about you. It's wow. some of the new features they've yeah. added, yeah. tailored to where you go to frequently wow. from entertainment to food yeah. to travel yeah. and yeah. yeah. So it means you were talking about some points over there. It means that when you're doing all these things, you're actually building points. Yeah, building points. points for yourself. What, yes. what, what level are you currently? Level eight. Level eight. That's like when the last time I checked it was like around fifteen thousand last point yeah now i am closer to 30 30 30 thousand oh. points but i need to get to fifty thousand to move to level nine okay and that's no joke oh, wow. <laughs> because if you do a review a regular review you're getting 10 10 points 10 yeah. points if you do a rating rating is the easiest there yeah, one point yeah one okay. point and if you do a detail review okay you will get double the okay. the 10 so yeah. 21 Okay. plus photos yeah so that doesn't mean you should be taking like the various <laughs> perspective of <laughs> yeah. you know yeah. Yeah. if you do that it's not a human that will judge you it's the ai yeah. okay. <laughs> yes okay. okay okay i also learned um as part of the rules um for google maps or mm -hmm. like wanting to contribute to places mm -hmm. it has to be legitimate uh, legitimate information you are putting out there true as well as you can't just add any place at all it has to be a place a place which is maybe permanent or some some of like I think yeah. you know about that you yeah know, yeah it has to be just like the way the government of Ghana will not come and tax you for selling like a, those mm -hmm. more easily movable structures okay. yeah. maybe AMA will bring you tickets um, so I want to chip in there with regard to when you're talking about experiences with people in shops and the rest I think sometimes it's just best if you just go ahead and then take the shots without even talking to them about local guy until maybe they are concerned about the shot uh, shots you're trying to take then you probably explain to them because yes. i have that, just like i was saying i've had instances where if you see mention google like no, no, no. They, they <laughs> there's some, some money yeah, some elements think, some some people think you're actually being paid to do that yeah and you try your possible best to explain to them they still don't they don't eh, yeah they, they don't get it no. so but then you also have to be mindful of where you are taking the photo yeah, yeah. if it's a bank yeah you have to be cautious. you have to be very cautious yeah. i mean i i avoid banks yeah. because i think it's people's absolute privacy yeah, like this true. is money you can be exposing people in that yeah, way yeah. and also if sometimes it's just best to live the experience mm -hmm. walk around yeah. see things for yourself yeah. and if there's something i miss 
you can ask questions yeah, yeah. so you don't have to always go for the long detailed uh, reviews when you don't have anything yeah, to say yeah, yeah. and if I don't have anything to say and I just see the space because I know someone will want to match mm -hmm. a location with a photo yeah. I just take a photo and get it posted online okay. I still get my point and I, I've still done some good for oh, society. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people watching this will be wondering how do they become a part of this local guide pen? How do they also start contributing to the So, What, what uh, information or tips have you got sharing with those who are interested in becoming local guides too? Just get your smartphone or your computer. It's, you, you need to be... Mobile is the best way to yeah. So get your smartphone and Google local guides program okay. okay the link will pop up will be one of the first and okay. just click it read up and the rest is very self-explanatory okay and we have a community too we have a local guides community in accra that is on facebook and it's also on so there's local guides ghana yeah it's not by it's not by city it's by the country so okay. local guides ghana okay. on facebook we have a whatsapp group too yeah. so I think I'll just share, reach I'll out share, to yeah, any of us, yeah. which you are a member. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, share, I'll share those links in the description of this video so that people can get to join the local guide. But before we end this um, discussion, yeah. I want to you to tell us a bit about your visit uh, that's to San Francisco, that's 2017, about your local guide. Oh how did God. you get there? <laughs> and how was, how was the experience? Wait, so please, my people. When you manage to get into the program, as in you apply, you get selected to go to the Connect Life. Yeah. Thank your God because it's highly competitive. Yeah. Like, like millions of other local guys yeah. competing for that same yeah. spot. Yeah. And it's what? It has recently been increased to 200. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which will happen in October, somewhere in October. Then after that, you have to worry about the U.S. Embassy. So if you don't have a visa, <laughs> I think I have a you need to do, if you're a Christian, fast. <laughs> Whatever religion you belong to, please <laughs> call your God. <laughs> because the feeling of being rejected, yeah. when you can see that, oh, Charlie, the you fun awaits, the connections await, yeah. please. So that's, that's one of the biggest hurdles. Okay. So if you want to eventually travel to the U.S. or anywhere for a local guides connect program, mm -hmm you should be intentional about your approach okay you have to start building some clout yeah. from your bank account to your status in life to every like you yeah. need to get everything yeah. Yeah. be well-rounded that's true so that you will make it through the visa the visa process yeah. and thankfully i made it mm -hmm. and unfortunately some of us couldn't make it which was very sad yeah. But I had to get over it quickly and because when I got in, there were like all these amazing people, people amazing yeah. contributors from Asia to America to Europe mm -hmm. and Africa. Okay. So the Kenyans were there, the Nigerians yeah. were there. Yeah. It, it was it was popping, okay? Yeah. yeah. So my badge. Okay. Probably the, <laughs> this me. <laughs> That's my badge. Yeah. You should get one. <laughs> So yes. You, you actually got some swags you got from local guides. Yes, yeah, swags. This badge here. Yeah. And uh, this is to you stick it to your backpack. Okay. Yeah, because it has um, a yeah, okay. the sticky thing. Okay. And this is a sticker for your laptop. So your laptop the... Anything. Wow. Yes. So this is just like the I think small you go, stuff. You got more than this. I got a lot. Where are they? We had um, a and meetup. Shared I shared all of them. You can have this. Okay. In the next meetup, I'll bring more. Okay. And okay. probably contact the Nigerian local guys community and see if we can get some, some more swags. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, with regard to what you were saying, and the, the, the trip was free. Oh. It was free, fully paid for. Okay. So it was yes. a fully funded trip yes. to um, San Francisco mm -hmm. just because you were a local guy. Yes. You got to, I think, level count as well. The, the minimum level is five. Five. Okay. Yeah, level five. Okay. You should be um, someone who an active contributor, an active contributor yeah. to the connect the connect community. Right. It's a community yeah. that you have to yeah. be active. Yeah. yeah, and then your points count the quality of points. Yeah, and then your video. The mm -hmm. video that you push to, to apply, apply yeah. also needs to be something unique. And yeah, and the rest is luck. Yeah, sure. Uh, now, with regard to the that particular Connect Live that was 2018, I actually got selected. To oh, I know. <laughs> to San Francisco, <laughs> but unfortunately for me, I couldn't uh, make it through the visa point. I couldn't get a visa because of 
you know some of their own reasons but it's it's fine at least um i'll keep trying and i'm sure yeah, yeah time, right? no also, one should give up yeah, about, yeah about I'll, I'll make yeah. it to san francisco so um doris uh, i'd like to thank you very much for making time and um, telling us more about the car guide program uh, have you got any final words you want to share um it? thank you for the platform mm -hmm. to be able to share my experience and educate people about programs like this yeah and the fact that being the web is has become very smaller yeah. because of programs like yeah. the local guides. Yeah. I have access to people in India, okay. to wow. um, the US, to wow. to Berlin, yeah. anywhere, Nigeria, yeah. Kenya, yeah. South Africa. Wow. I was in I was in Cape Town recently and I, I wanted to organize a photo walk. All I did was went to Connect Live, ask people, hey, who is available? Mm -hmm. And I got a lot of people interested. Wow. Wow. That's how it is. So you don't have to you know back in the days when we we're doing pen pal? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now it's like <laughs> we just the flick of the finger, wow. then you get someone too. Wow. Genuine people, not wow. the Yahoo Yahoo or the Sakawa boys or Sakawa girls. Okay. We all start. Yeah. So keep pushing for good content on the web. Let's put lots of African content on yeah. the web. Very Join important. Photo Walk. Can yeah, I can I talk about yeah, Photo? Sure, sure, yes. Sure. Sure. We have our next trip in September 28th. Okay. We're going to. For yeah, some of the mountainous areas, okay, and for relaxation, for creating content, for bonding, for learning new things about photography, if okay. you're a videographer, you should also join us. Okay, I'm cool. sure people may have questions, more questions to ask. So, have you got any social media handles you want to put out? There? Yeah, it's at Kafui Day. Okay, Kafui Day is Kafui Doris Anson Yevu. So, okay. So Kafui D A Y okay. at Kafui D A Y. That's my social media. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to put it on the screen so that people can reach out to you. So once again, thank you very much. For thank you out. for doing this. Let's push more of oh, this great stuff yeah, online. Sure, 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 sure. So there you have it. Um, I guess, or oh, I believe, you've heard a lot about the local guides program, and you should try your personal <laughs> best to join. There is actually a fun person to view it. <laughs> Um, she's part of the photo work the which I'm also part of and uh, we do embark on travels just like she was saying earlier so if you've got any questions try your possible best to reach out to Doris to her social yeah. media on Anytime. Instagram and I'm sure she's definitely going to answer to your questions so that's just about it for this video if you are new all you have to do is to hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell as well so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it once again my name is Ishmael Lamte and we are signing out, out.